Hey, what's up? This is Antonio. Welcome back to my channel. And who's ready for some fighting words? In this video, I want to do a fight breakdown for Nikita Zhu versus Danilo Karate. Really quick, if you like the videos, please take the time. Subscribe to the channel. It just takes one click. And also, please hit the thumbs up button. It does help. It does show love and it really does support this channel. Uh, so let's jump into some things. So if you're unfamiliar with how I do a fight breakdown, basically what I'm going to do is take both combatters. I'm going to put them side by side. I'm going to run down a list of attributes. Whoever has more points in the end, that's the individual that I'm going to pick to win the fight. So let's jump into it. I'm going to start off with versatility. Who's more versatile? Um, let's see. I think Nikita Zhu can outbox and I think he can box and I think he can fight. When I look at Danilo, he can only box. That's it. He doesn't show a whole lot of scrap. And he's defensive-minded first. And if you listen very carefully, that's going to be a theme, a reoccurring theme. He's a very defensive-minded guy. He's not a very heavy-handed guy. And I don't feel like he has a whole lot in a tool shed in terms of an arsenal. But when you look at Nikita Zhu, he can box you. He can stay on the outside. If you want a slugfest, He's more than willing and capable to meet you in that battleground. And he, he has no problem closing the ranks. He has no problem getting up close and personal and finishing the fight off. Got to give it to Nikita Zhu for versatility. Boxing IQ. Uh, now, neither one of these guys have an extensive career or anything like that. However, I mean, they're actually, professionally speaking, they, they're both with single digits under their name. However, when you look at Nikita Zhu, you have to give it to him. And I'm going to tell you why. And I know a lot of people may not like necessarily what I'm saying, but it's the truth. So when you have somebody or people in your family who, who've done thing, who's done something for, for, for years on end, boxing, for example, well, that knowledge has been passed down. And typically what you will find is the kids are more skilled than the parents or more skilled than the grandparents. The, 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 the longer that line goes on, that, 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 um, the line continues, the skill level is going to get greater and greater and greater. And look at Tim Zhu. Look at Nikita Zhu. Look at Costa Zhu. There is a difference in skill level. You're going to say, well, it's different eras. Also, there's a difference in skill level because the progression of that line has gotten better. So you have to give Boxing IQ just by default to Nikita Zhu. Um, I'm saying this now, and it's a very, very, very early prediction. I think Nikita Zhu is going to be greater than his dad. That's what I think. I, I personally feel like he's a better boxer than um, Tim Zhu. Uh, and, I, and if you know anything about my channel, you know that I rock with Tim Zhu heavy. I, I love Tim Zhu. But of, of the, the brothers, I feel like Nikita is the more well-rounded, versatile tool of the two. Um, but we'll get back to that later. Power. Who has more power? Come on, Nikita Zhu, hands down. I mean, it's not even funny. It's, it's not even an, an argument. He hits hard. One punch, knockout power, either hand, doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter also the punch that he hits you with. Some people, yeah, they hit hard when they're throwing hooks. Some people, yeah, they hit hard when they're throwing uppercuts. Some people, they hit hard um, throwing a shovel, uh, an overhand. Nikita Zhu, it doesn't matter what punch he's using, he hits hard. He's a very heavy-handed individual. He hits very, very, very hard. Power, Nikita Zhu. Heart. Who is more heart? Um, Nikita Zhu, again, let me tell you something. Guy does not get discouraged. He's been rocked. He's been shaken. He's been down. But when I tell you there is something in that bloodline, <laughs> because the same thing with the dad, the same thing with his older brother. There is something in that bloodline because the, how do I say this? There's something that mentally changes when you go down. Some people go down like this and then they come up like this and they're timid and they're scared and they're worried. They don't want to get hit like that again. Not Nikita Zoo, not Tim Zoo, not Costa Zoo. Again, it's the bloodline. None of them. They come up saying, you hit me? Well, I owe you one. <laughs> and by the way, I'm coming to get it right now. That's the difference. When it comes to heart, Nikita Zhu all day, he's got heart. Uh, like I said, Danilo, he doesn't hit very hard. He's a defensive-minded guy first. Um, he's a, I'm going to move first, hit later. That type of guy versus hit first, move later. It's the truth. 
you know. But let's see, what else do I have? I have grit and grind. Um, this kind of goes along with what I said about heart. Um, Nikita can dig deep. Like I said, he's been wobbled. He's had the shaky legs. He's been down. He's been blurry eyed. He's been everything you can think of in in his early career, because he's fought some heavy handed individuals in his early career, and he's manhandled them. He's gotten through them. He wasn't discouraged. He he dug deep, and he's learned about the levels that he has inside of him. That's the reason I can say he's going to be greater than his dad because of the levels that he's showing at this stage in his career, which is very uh, it's, it's still an embryo stage, and yet. He's going deep into the well, and he's done that several times. Grit and got grind. I have to give it to Nikita Zhu. Uh, Arsenal. Who is a better Arsenal or a bigger Arsenal, shall I say? Well, Danilo, he has a one. He has a one-two, and then he has an overhand. And that's basically it. And then he moves, and then he'll repeat the process. That's basically it. But for the most part, he's a one-two type of guy or just a two type of guy and move. Why you look at Nikita Zoo, he's very adaptable. If you have these rugged, aggressive guys, you can, you can adapt to them because he's one of those guys at heart. But he can also box. And he can be on the outside. And he can use his jab. And he can mix things up. He's very creative with himself. Uh, let's see. Let me tell you something. You don't see a whole lot of guys throwing straight to the body. I don't know why. It's a very effective punch. Floyd Mayweather utilized that weapon uh, all throughout his career. It's a very effective punch. It's one of the punches to the body where you can easily get away without getting touched. It's one of the punches to the body where it can zap you of energy. It can stop you in momentum. It can stop you in sequence. Um, there's just a lot of things it can do. It can take breath out of you. There's just a lot of things that that punch, that particular punch can do. The shovel hook. Nikita Zhu not only uses a shovel hook from an angle, but he uses it from the front, which I don't even know how you can possibly do that. That's um, Lomachenko type stuff. But yet he, he's able to do it, but he's also to able to twist it or shall I say angle it and make it go to the body as well. It's not a hook. It's a shovel hook. It, it's, it's not a random or a regular hook, shall I say. It's not a regular hook. It's a shovel hook. And it's extended too. It's not like here where normally a shovel hook is, if you could see me, a shovel hook is normally from here and, and straight up. Straight up. But... Nikita's is from here, <laughs> like it's, it's almost fully extended and you got to give him credit for that, that, that he can utilize that and make it a weapon and make it a weapon. Uppercuts, he's got it. Combinations, he's got it. Um, Nikita Zoo. I mean, that's not necessarily something you get a point for, but still, you got it. Uh, counter puncher, who's a better counter puncher? Danilo. Danilo, hands down, because that's basically his game. His game is speed. His game is to hit and run away as fast as possible. He does not want to exchange. He does not want to engage like that. He just wants to get the point and keep it moving. Um, mental toughness. This kind of goes with heart, grit, and grind. Um, mental toughness. Like I said, Zoo has been in situations that typically you get into as the, the level of opposition in your career gets a more extreme. Yet, he's had it where his... This is the stage in his career where he, not say he should be getting easy fights, but these should not be the most difficult fights in the world. And yet he's been in some very uncomfortable situations and positions in the ring. And yet he's managed to handle it like a champ. And I can clearly, I can not clearly, I can honestly say he will be a champ because of the way that he's handed it, handled it in his embryo stage, his career. So I can only imagine once he gets to the double digits in his career, once he gets 20 fights in, 25 fights in, oh yeah, he's really going to be manhandling a lot of guys in the ring. Um, let's see, defense. Danilo, I got to give it to him. D defense, like mostly his legs. D Tim Zhu doesn't, doesn't have bad defense, but he's very wide and in, in his, he's, he can get very wide. And sometimes he can bring it here, but for the most part, he's, he's out here. And that's just because he's a, he's a really loose and fluid type of guy. But Danilo, uh, his legs, he has fast legs. Uh, he utilizes his legs. Like I said, his game is built around speed. Uh, let's see. Cardio. Uh, that's about a tie. You have Danilo running around for about 12 rounds. Yeah, he gets a little tired, you know. And then you have Nikita. 
he here's the thing about Nikita. He, you can easily bring him to a place. Meaning if, if Nikita says, I'm going to box no matter what, I'm going to show off my boxing skills. You can bring him over here where we're not boxing. We're uh, at an all out war. And he'll say, all right, I know I said that in the back room, but let me go meet him on the battlefield. <laughs> like that's what you can do with Nikita. Uh, let's see. Durability. Who's more durable? Well, I said it earlier. Um, when it comes to Nikita, he's been rocked. He's been down. And yet he's come back to dominate people, to dominate. Like, like that's the thing. Like, Nikita might very well have a, a Rocky-like career because he, he does get touched. But he's a durable guy. He's just a durable, tough dude. And, yeah, you can hit him, but you better believe he's coming to hit you right back. Whatever you give him, he's going to give it back to you. You know, so it would – Danelle, I don't feel like this fight's going to be super bad because Danelle is not a, a heavy-handed guy. But it is going to be super bad because he's not a heavy-handed guy. And he has nothing to keep Nikita Zoo off of him. Nothing. Like, yeah, he can move and he's got his legs. But he, outside of that, he has nothing to keep Nikita Zoo off of him. That's going to be a problem for Danilo. It really is. Because you're not going to win this fight by points. If he doesn't respect your power, you're not going to win this fight by points. Uh, best range. What's the best range for each guy to fight at? Well, Danilo, obviously, I've been saying it on the outside where he can move and he's comfortable and he can get out of tight situations. While you look at Nikita Zhu, I think he's a he's a pretty sound boxer. Um, he does have fast feet. He doesn't have faster feet than Danilo, but he does have fast feet. Um, but put him in a telephone booth. He's equally as dangerous. Equally as dangerous. Let's see. Punch output. Who is the higher punch output? Here's the thing about Danilo. He's not a guy who gets caught up in exchanges. He knows he won't win. He knows he's a, he's a, he's not as heavy-handed as most opponents he's going to face. So he's not the exchange guy. He wants to get the point and move. He it's funny. He has a more of a Cuban boxing style. I'm going to hit you with something basic and get out of there. I'm going to win, but I'm going to win comfortably. I'm not going to go to that that place inside, and I don't want to see how deep I have to dig tonight. I just want to win comfortably. That's not a knock on anybody or a particular style, but Danilo definitely has that mindset when he's in the ring and he fights like that. Um, while you look at Nikita Zhu, he punches in combinations, especially once he's feeling it, especially once he's already been tagged and he knows that you can't hurt him. Oh, he's going to let his hands fly. Like I said earlier, he's very loose in his hands, very fluid. Last but not least, danger, my favorite category. Who is more dangerous? When all said... All else is said and done, and this list doesn't mean anything anymore of mine, who's more dangerous? Who's more dangerous? If, if it just comes down to that last round, it's like, well, you guys are both dead even. Who's more dangerous? Nikita Zhu is more dangerous. With the right or the left, Nikita Zhu is more dangerous. Doesn't matter. It's more dangerous. With one punch or five, he's more dangerous. It doesn't matter. He's a finisher. He gets guys out of there. All right? Seek and destroy Nikita Zoo. And looking at my tally, I would say Nikita Zoo has got my vote for who's going to win this bout. Um, Danilo, anything I would tell him, hit and move. Hit and move. Make it a boring jab fest. And if the rings close, tie him up. Tie up Nikita and have the referee separate you. Who cares if people are booing? Um, there are going to be some fights where you get booed. That's what I would advise him. But move, be slick, don't engage, don't don't try to match machismo or anything like that. Don't do any of that. While I look at Nikita Zoo, seek and destroy. You know he can't hurt you. Seek and destroy. That's what I would say. Cut off the ring and let your hands fly. Something will connect, especially in the body. Something will connect. Danilo doesn't particularly like getting hit in the body. Tim Zoo, he's a tank all over, so it doesn't matter. But I would say cut off that ring, go to the body, use that straight, Use those shovel hooks and finish him off. Get your man out of there. I think Nikita Zoo gets him out of there by around five. Those are my thoughts. Drop your thoughts down below. As always, please like, please share, please subscribe to this channel.